Welcome back to another video. Today we have my September bullet journal plan with me video. So as you know this year I've been doing uh, on again off again bullet journal spreads which means I just haven't been doing every single month but every other month. So September was time for me to do my plan with me video with you again and this month I'm actually doing a little bee theme because you know bees are great and also I just moved to Manchester this year uh, after I finished my uh, university degree and if you don't know bees are like the official mascot uh, slash logo of Manchester so I thought it was all a really cute idea you know just celebrating this new chapter in a new city so yeah for my title screen I drew like a bunch of little bees flying above um, the title September and then I wanted to fill in that little area down there so I drew out a beautiful little flower and I'm gonna have two bees flying in to just perch on it and I think it ended up looking adorable. I also of course included a little overview of the month as I normally do underneath the September title and I'm mainly using two Crayola super tip colors one in like an orangey yellow and one in a very bright yellow and those are pretty much the two colors that I used for this month so going into my monthly spread I again just wrote out September over there at the top and then proceeded to draw in my calendar for the month and for those of you who wonder I normally do five by five uh, little squares for the days of the month. And yes, I also don't really use a ruler much, uh, just because I really like the look of something being done quite like messily or just done by hand. So I do really enjoy if some things aren't perfect. I just think it has a little bit more character. Then I actually wanted to show you guys how cute this little um, pattern that I've been adding to all of my pages for this month is. I've just started adding these little hexagons, which are basically meant to look like the beehive. What are they called? Hexagons, I guess. I'm not actually sure what the technical name for them are, but uh, I think they ended up looking adorable. I just, you know, for the first few, I sketched them out in pencil first, which I do recommend you doing because it can get a little bit confusing trying to get these all perfect. But after a while, I just kind of got the hang of it and just continued drawing them out. And I think it looks absolutely adorable. Then of course I went in and added a bunch of bees around the page as well as adding a little monthly goals and my YouTube planner down there at the bottom. For those of you who might not know, I use my YouTube planner just to plan out what videos I want to film slash post that month and my monthly goals are exactly what it says on the tin. For this month, I, you, I did a lot of uh, this style of drawing a box with a uh, little shadow, but a not filled in shadow. So um, it'll become more clear what I mean once I actually get to my weekly spread, but I just kind of did that for most of the things um, in this month's spreads. And for pretty much everything else in my bullet, my bullet journal, I mainly just use my Tombow Fudenosuke pens um, pretty much for everything. So yeah, then I went in and wrote in the days of the week over there at the top and started decorating and adding all the details in my bees that I drew out around the page. And that was pretty much it for my monthly spread. I just went in with my uh, Crayola super tip and added a little circle into every day of the month as well as every day of the month. And, that, and then that was it. Yeah. 
So next up, we've got my habits and expense trackers. Uh, for my habits tracker, I kind of just wrote out habits in cursive at the top and then added a little oval stripe uh, at the bottom and wrote in trackers. And then I actually wanted to make some use of the awesome stamps that I got from Stationery Pal this month. Um, I wanted to use the month, the calendar month ones because they save a lot of time in bullet journaling. Um, unfortunately, all of the calendar stamps come with 31 days, which I guess you can just cut out with a pair of scissors. But um, yeah, I just kind of for this month i just went in and stamped the same month in for each and then afterwards i deleted the number 31 with some white out but in the future i will probably just use a pair of scissors to chop off the 31st day and then if i ever need it i can just stick it onto the acrylic stamp holder um if and when i need it um so yeah if you do have something similar like this i would definitely recommend doing that and not you know using the white out method that i used <laughs> but yeah loved using the stamps regardless it saves a lot of time and it makes everything look so much neater and just a lot more professional and And then I went in and added all the boxes where I was going to write what habits I'm tracking for each habit tracker and of course highlighting them in with my Corella Super Tip. And that was pretty much it for my habits tracker. At the bottom I had some empty space so I of course added some little bees just kind of you know swooshing in onto the page. I really love adding these like little um, track marks for uh, my bees, it just looks adorable and doodly. So then for my expense trackers, you guys know I, I always keep my expense trackers the same just because they're the most functional part of my bullet journal. Um, so I always do the same sort of layout for this chart and that includes a bar at the top where I write uh, the title, so my description, the money that comes in and the money that comes out. And then I do three columns, one again for the description and one for the um, money that comes in and the money that comes out. Then I wrote in a little box at the bottom that says total and that's when I do all of my expenses at the end of the month and I can total all the money that I made and all the money that I spent. And that's pretty much the gist for my expenses tracker. It always works, so I try not to, you know, change it too much because so far it's been helping me a lot, so, you know. So that was it for my trackers. I'm very happy with how they turned out. And next up, it's time for my brain dump. So every month I have a lot of lists to write. I always have, I need at least a double page for every month to just, you know, jot down ideas and jot down notes and um, where I can plan YouTube videos and plan um, just my shop stuff. And yeah, normally a double page is the minimum that I need. So for this month, I just wrote brain dump right there at the top. I, again, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I try to not decorate these pages as much because I try to optimize as much space as possible for all of my, um, my, my brain dumps, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, I do try to save space a lot on this. So I just added all these hexagonal designs on the top right corner and the bottom left corner, uh, just to keep with a the theme for this month. And I honestly think it, it made it look really nice and simple and you know less is more so there we go and finally it was time for my weekly spread so i started off by actually drawing some hexagonal designs over there on the top left corner because i'm gonna actually stamp some stuff on top of it so i wanted to you know draw out some stuff first so that i didn't smudge anything so i stamped in the um same month calendar overview thing that I did for my habits trackers and then I actually whacked out my um, individual wooden stamps that I got from um, stationery pal as well and I used them to write out September over there at the top I am obsessed with these stamps okay guys like they're so cute and adorable and I love how they're individual stamps because it means that I can like play around with the different heights anyway I just think it ended up looking super cute so then I proceeded to draw in the rectangles for each day of the week, again adding that little, you know, 
unfilled drop shadow, which I really like this effect. I think it looks awesome. And yeah, always using my Tombow Fudenosuke pen for all of these details. I really like Tombow Fudenosuke pens because they just, they don't bleed and they don't really like get smudged with anything. So I really like how practical they are. Then of course I went in and wrote in the days of the week in each one of these rectangles. And then when that was done, I, of course, added in some more hexagons just to decorate all of the sort of empty or spaces that uh, I noticed on the page. I also added a little rectangle there on the bottom right of the double spread where I'm going to basically write in my weekly tasks. I always need a weekly tasks area in my weekly spreads because boy, do I have a lot of weekly tasks. <laughs> so yeah, after adding some more hexagons and honeycombs, is it honeycombs that I'm thinking of? I think it might be honeycombs. So after adding some more um, honeycombs, I went in and highlighted all of the uh, little rectangles I did for the days of the week with my lighter yellow color. And then of course added a little bee coming into the page in that empty space over there. And with that done, that was it for my September bullet journal plan with me. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an overview now of all the pages that I did today. I really, really hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you recreate any of these pages. If you do, don't forget to tag me in them. I love seeing your guys' recreations. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you have a lovely September and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.